welcome back to my channel if today is your first time kindly hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share with your friends as well so we could send this message across to a lot of people so today's session is a continuation of our rabbit farming series we we'll spend today's session talking about feeding rabbits feeding rabbits so in feeding rabbits there are a lot of things we have to look out for most of the time when we are beginner rabbit farmers our feed demands are not so much but when you look at the rabbits themselves there are certain ingredients or certain nutrients there are certain nutrients that they have to get and most of them um, include fiber they need a lot of fiber so when you are making feed for rabbits you have to pay attention to the fiber contents of the feed because rabbits are naturally into grass and we try to because of time constraints and stuff like that we try to supplement it or replace it completely with pelleted feed or the mash so we have to pay attention to the fiber we have to look at the energy we have to look at the protein percentage usually a little above 16 percent that we are also looking at not making our rabbits so fat the problem with that is you struggle to get pregnant does because of fat so because they have developed fat they cannot reproduce and rabbits as i said earlier is a numbers game so it depends on the number of bunnies you are able to produce and that's how can you be able to make your sales and get your profits so we have to pay attention to these key elements the protein percentage the fiber content the fat and then the energy for energy we can be able to produce it because most of the ingredients are carbs or carbohydrates and we have that in abundance we have the wheat bran we have the rice bran and um, we could get a couple of other even maize has a lot of carbs so it gives us the carbohydrates so we are looking at it so um i'm posting a couple of pictures i might not know the names of the grasses but as you can see with the pictures above moving up and down one after the other there are different different types of grasses that rabbits consume different different types of grasses so you might have come across this grass one way or the other or in some way and then you can feed this grass to your rabbits so there are different different grasses you can feed your rabbits and you can use grasses most especially if um, you don't have a large number of rabbits that you are keeping so if you have a smaller unit or let's say a backyard farm that is catering for yourself and family and maybe once in a while you occasionally sell one or two rabbits to people to consume then you can feed your rabbits predominantly grass grass or herbs because um you'll be able to get some and then, then because of your low numbers you'll be able to feed them enough but if your numbers increase as soon as your numbers increase you start to think about how to meet their nutritional requirements and how to also make it make the farming flexible enough for you so you try to go for the pellets or go for rabbit feed or do your own mixing with poultry feed and then maybe wheat bran or poultry feed and a mix of wheat bran and rice bran and whichever means possible also we can feed rabbits with a couple of other things um, we can give them cassava peels yam peels kinky or kinky after we have eaten kinky the the peels or the back we can we can give it to rabbits we can also feed our rabbits with watermelon peels mango peels um, pawpaw pineapple ripe plantain so there are a couple of a lot of some of these things that we can feed our rabbits they also eat kitchen leftovers so um the rice when you are done with cooking rice the uh, under what we call kanzo over here bankun to the leftover um, plantain like anything any kitchen waste and um, i usually do not recommend soup and stew i've never tried that so the main food the, the main dishes the cup the carbohydrate aspect the yam the leftover the plantain the leftover the banku the leftover the cocoon the leftover like any leftover at all rabbits rabbits will consume so they are kind of like pigs in a way because they eat a lot of things when it comes to having them in very small numbers but when it comes to having them in large numbers we look at maximizing our time and also 
getting them to grow at a fast rate. So there are a couple of feed brands already. There are a couple of feed brands. And now there are a couple of companies or individuals producing rabbit feed. Okay. So there are a couple of individuals producing rabbit feed. Maybe along the line, if you contact me, I could recommend a couple of people producing rabbit feed. So, or rabbit feed. Or feed mainly made for rabbits for you to buy from them if you want it that way but from experience or when i started moving away from predominantly wheat brown only to having rabbit feed that contains the protein percentage that i want or the regular standard protein percentage which is 16 percent and above we were doing um grower mash and then grower mash which is poultry grower mash or chick grower mash and then mixing that with um wheat bran so the ratio we usually do is one is to three or one is to four there's usually um an app or a platform for calculating the protein percent you get as a result of mixing this feed which is the piercing square so you could go online just google the piercing square the website pops up and you could enter the details of the protein percentage you want and then the protein percentage of the ingredients you are using so which brand you enter the protein percentage and then the grower mash or the broiler starter you enter the protein percentage and then you get the percentage of feed you are going to the percentage of protein you are going to get and then how much feed you should mix of each feed ingredient to maximize results so you have the either a broiler starter broiler starter grower mash or layer mash each and every one of them have their own individual protein percentage and you're going to mix it with either wheat bran or rice bran um, more of wheat bran and less of rice bran because per my experience in the past in the most recent past uh, and tends to have a little more fat than wheat bran which happens to be a disadvantage to the rabbits i'm going to dilute your wheat bran with rice bran then you can do it one is to one so that because rice bran is cheaper over here it reduces your cost of buying wheat bran a little so i think at the moment you're getting a sack a 50 kilogram sack of rice bran for 50 cds which is the same price as 25 kilograms of wheat bran so you can you can mix it up one is to one for the rice bran and wheat bran so that it reduces your cost for fiber a very good ingredient we could use is granite husk so when you go to the market you could get the people who produce granite paste to get you granite husk in large quantities but you could consult with people and then they could direct you where you could get granite husk from in large quantities so you mix the granite husk with the rice bran and then the wheat bran and then now you need your protein source so for your protein source you are going to look at either the check mash which is the grower mash or starter or layer any of them and then you use your piercing square to calculate how much quantity of how much quantity of the poultry feed you are going to need to mix and then make your own blend you could add a little bit of multivitamins or a few growth, growth boosters if you are not doing organic organic and then you mix it along the line we'll be talking about organic farming and then we'll be interviewing a couple of people who are into organic farming and what what they do in order to speed up the growth of their their animals whether poultry or rabbits or any any animal at all speed up the growth prevent diseases and treat certain diseases so um, you mix you mix this and then you give it to your rabbits and um, there are ratios and then um quantities you can feed to your rabbits right so you can usually do 80 to 100 grams depending on the size or the weight of the rabbits you can feed them twice you can feed them once but usually you can just start feeding them twice morning evening morning evening you make sure they always have water they always have water very very important so whether you are using the automatic waters or you are using um, a container which i sometimes use i using a container you have to make sure they always have clean water which is very important because it aids and maximizes the food they are taking in so that they are able to convert the feed as much as you want also we can we can just we can just try that and then look at the results we get or as i already mentioned there are rabbits feed producers now it's good news for us because we used to struggle to get our own feed so you can just focus on getting that and then buying it if you want cheaper ways of feeding rabbits there's this formula of pkc pkc which is palm kennel cake 
and then you are mixing that with your wheat bran so pkc i think 50 kilograms of pkc is around 50 or 60 cds so that's a drop down on how much i'm going to spend for grower mash or broiler starter because those ones are on the high side like the poultry industry they always keep complaining about the rising cost of feed which is actually affecting the industry so if you want to reduce cost you can go to pkc and then do pkc and then wheat brand you can do one pkc is to five wheat brand and then you check the results as well and then see the results for yourself so i always advise that if you are starting out because you don't have targets target weights at the beginning you shouldn't spend so much on feeding costs you should try as much as possible to minimize feeding cost and maximize your expenditure so that you'll be able to sustain yourself in the business so when money actually starts flowing in so pay pay attention to that also um people give palm fronds to their rabbits because it has a lot of fiber coconut husk as well has a lot of fiber and helps rabbits with the prolonging of teeth so that it, it, it cuts it off so you can you can look at all, all those things and then explore you you try to explore even though people with experiences have spoken about their feeding habits and in their feeding styles you try to explore as much as possible then you reduce you try to explore you try to explore as much as possible i also do not usually like mixing the feed with water because how the rabbits tend not to feed or complete the feed you've given them within the time you're expecting I mean, because if you mix with water you would have to pour it away and then replace it but if it's dry feed and you have enough water alongside not mixing but alongside and then you can get water as and when and you can keep the feed for some time let's say a day or over and then you don't have a problem so far as the rabbit is going to consume it's going to consume that so um basically feeding rabbits is, is just about it's just about this you just have to have some time for them morning evening so irrespective of the work you are doing or whatever thing you have to do you can just do morning evening people even do once a day i've experimented with once a day this past few weeks and it's working fine so you can even do once a day you can do twice a day depending on your schedule but usually when you start with them they are used to it so you try to maintain maintain that cycle and when you are changing feed see when you are changing feed because of bloat and stuff you try to introduce the new feed with time so as you are redrawing the old feed you try to introduce a new feed with time also you can just do introduce amprocox or mix amprocox with your feed the new feed you are doing so that for the bunnies because you've switched from one feed to the other and your digestive system is not used to it you prevent sudden death of your bunnies so that you save costs or you reduce your expenditure because as i said again rabbits is a numbers game if you are not having the numbers or your mortality rates of your in your farm is not down you are going to be out of business so thanks for your time and we'll have another session on um, taking care of rabbits or medications prevention and then treatment i'm out